Does your RV, or do you know someone who has an RV that claims that it swerves, sways, becomes unstable, moves different directions, you have to move the steering wheel so much and you're scared? Well, guess what? We're going to show you right now the true story. Stand by. Hey there, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. How are you doing? You know, I've heard so many stories about RV sway, um, or swerving around, becoming unstable in different conditions when trucks are passing you, when it's windy, on different types of road conditions. Well, we're going to go ahead and do a field test or a road test right now in our Class B. It's a uh, 2006 Pleasure Way Excel TS, and we're going to see, and right now, actually, we've got um, two mountain bikes. I don't know if you can see these. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Two mountain bikes that are actually... Um, on the back of the rig. Um, the experts say that makes it much more unstable. We're gonna take it out on the highway. Right now we're gonna be moving to another campground pretty soon. We'll take it out on the highway where there, it's gonna be an interstate highway. So there are gonna be, uh, it's gonna be some, probably some windy conditions. There are gonna be trucks, there's gonna be higher speeds. We're gonna see firsthand what the story is with Sway. Come on, let's go. Okay, so here we are, we're starting out, we're trying this first, before we get to any interstate, uh, on a kind of a windy mountain, two-lane road. Um, I wouldn't call it exactly a mountain pass, but it's definitely a windy road. So, um, and there's a little bit of wind down, so go, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the steering wheel, show you how it looks, how we do. Things feel pretty stable. You can see, I'm not feeling any sway really and you can see my hands on the wheel and there's no real play in it I mean no different than it seems like no different now than driving an SUV or a large vehicle I mean there's you know there's no back and forth sway anything like that um, again it's not an interstate but it is a windy a windy mountain road and we're going about um, just about 55 miles an hour right now as the first test. So let's see how this goes here. And you can see pretty clearly, I've heard people that have other rigs, many people that have class Bs say there's so much play in the wheel that the whole time they're they're going back and forth and back and forth and God forbid there's another little bit of wind or a truck coming by, they're like all over the place. This feels pretty stable, you can see. I don't think looking at this wheel is much different than looking at a wheel if you were driving a um, a Ford or or a Volvo or something like that. I don't think it's, I don't think it's much different. Okay, so that is first test mountain road. Let's come back for something a little different in a second. Okay, so the next test. By the way, I forgot to tell you, just in case you want to know what type of um, chassis this is. It's a um, Ford. Um, E350. It's um, our, our Class B Pleasure Way is built on a Ford E350 chassis. So um, right now, we're going to 65 miles an hour on a, um, it's not an interstate, it's a state road. Um, traffic going each way. I'd say not really windy out, but um, you'll be able to see what it feels, what it looks like it feels like it, at 60, it's, uh, right around 65 miles an hour right now. And you can see like traffic is passing on the other side. It's a two-lane highway, so there's not going to be trucks going the same way, passing as that way, but uh, we'll do that next. But just to show you here again, um, look at my hands on the wheel. I mean, I don't think anybody would say there's sway, there's sway in this vehicle. I, I really don't think there, well, now I just turned a little curve. That's why you saw me move, but right now we're on a total straightaway. 65 miles an hour. You'll go, would you say there's probably a little wind, not much wind, yeah. not, not much wind. And okay, that's our test there. Next is, next coming up, we're going to be on Interstate 80. And we'll give that a shot. Okay, so here we are now on Interstate 80. Going about 65 miles an hour. I just go. I went to about 70 a couple seconds ago, and um, let's take a look at the wheel right now. As of, I say, moderate wind, little bit of wind, little to moderate wind, and um, no trucks around me right now. So here's my here are my hands on the wheel at about 
65 miles an hour Interstate 80 heading uh, from Echo Lake area into Salt Lake City. Now, to be fair, right now there's no traffic around me and you can see pretty steady. But I'm going to come back as soon as I see some trucks around me. I'll come back on one more time and show you if there's any sway as a truck passes me or in the unlikely event I pass a truck, but I usually don't pass trucks, they usually pass me. So be back in a couple seconds, let's take a look at the trucks. Okay, I am back now. Um, there's gonna be a truck, a big 18-wheeler passing me in a couple seconds before I let him pass me. Um, I'm gonna say it's, Yoko, would you say it's like moderately windy right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not calm. It is, I'd say it's windy. So, see my hand on the wheels right now. So we have wind and now we're gonna have a, a 18-wheeler passing me. You can probably see him go by me in the window in just a couple seconds. Watch my hands on the wheel, see if you feel there's sway or no sway. Come in by me right now. Little, I mean, I had to adjust tiny, but probably no more than I would have to if I were driving a car. I mean, when I'm driving in a Volvo, um, big 18-wheeler comes by me, you've got to make a little adjustment. Sometimes you have to. So I would say this passes the sway test. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're, I am in a class B, remember, if you are in a um, rig that you feel is unsafe and you feel that, uh, let me put this up so you can see me again. You feel, if you feel it's unsafe and if you feel you're getting just too much play in the wheel, um, too much sway, then you need to definitely have that checked out. And there are a lot of people online talking about RV sway, so you can check out another channel for sure and look into it. I do want to tell you before I leave a really, really funny story about my very first car ever when I was like, I guess 16 or 17 years old, first car ever was a, an AMC Hornet. Those of you that are old enough to remember AMC, the American Motors Corporation, they had Hornets, Gremlins, um, Matadors, um, Pacer, I think that might have been a Pacer, so it's a, it was a small company that at, that at some point just went away, Rambler. But um, I bought this thing used. Actually, my dad helped me buy it used. It was like a thousand bucks when I was a little, when I was 16 or 17. And um, speaking of sway, I mean, there was so much play in the wheel. When I was like, when I was a new driver, I thought that's the way cars are. Like you have to. I was driving along the highway and I'd be moving the wheel the entire time with all this play. It just was horrible. And I remember going into a service station one time and saying to the mechanic you just tighten this thing up for me it's got too much play in it. and he said he would try and I, don't, I don't know if he was just bsing me or not but um i'll never forget that this this drives so much better than my first car ever we'll leave it at that um, if you do have a problem with sway just definitely get it checked out there are fixes for sure um, but i'm pretty happy with the way this one's going rv dummy talk to you soon thanks so much for being with me i really appreciate it i gotta keep my eyes on the road guys